Hi guys, it's Holly and welcome to this week's vlog. As you can see, I'm not actually in the shop today, I am at home. That is because I usually do my filming on a Saturday and I had a rare Saturday off. Um, so I didn't quite know what to do with myself because I'm always working. So we've had another busy week in the shop. It's actually been a week of tattooing animals for me and Fiona. I think we only tattooed animals. I don't know if I did anything else. Usually I end up doing like a mandala or two, but I don't think I did anything else, just animals. So it was very cool um, and getting to do some spacey stuff, which was also really cool. Fiona did this tattoo of a peony and a snake, which I just thought was amazing. Like she absolutely knocks it out of the park and I'm super duper proud of her. Fiona's bookings are open. She is booking for, what is it now? It's March, so March and April. If you'd like to book in with her, I'm gonna put the email address down below. Um, she also did this Phoenix this week, which I thought was really, really nice. This was someone's first tattoo. So I thought that was pretty cool. It's a pretty big tattoo to get for a first one. So I had a bit of time this week to film a video for my other channel, for my Holly Astral channel, where I do this series called Ask a Tattoo Artist, where you guys ask me questions and I answer them because I'm a tattoo artist. And so this week's video is all about tattoo conventions. While I was at Tattoo Tea Party last weekend, I did some filming because I get asked a bunch of questions about conventions. How do they work? How does the pricing work? How do walk-ups work? What can I expect to find there? So I made a video where I answer all of that stuff and if you head over to my Holly Astral channel you can watch it now. to show you something quickly that I thought was really cute. Um, my apprentice Matilda made me all these little packets of kitchen roll, like all pre-torn up for me for the days when she's not here, which I thought was so cute. Um, this week was International Women's Day and I had a bit of time to reflect on that and just think how lucky I am to get to work with the wonderful women that I do. Uh, it's so lush getting to work alongside such talented, inspiring, hardworking ladies. I know that when I started Gravity, I made a video about this, about what exactly I wanted it to be like. And actually being in it and doing it and getting to work there every day is so awesome. Like that's what I wanted to make was a tattoo shop that would be inspiring, that would be comfortable, that would be welcoming, motivating to the people who work there. Because I've never had that before, I've not worked in that environment. Um, but when I've gone and done guest spots, I've worked in other places that have had that feeling about them and that's something that I wanted to create. So I've just been taking a bit of time to reflect on how proud I am of the shop and how proud I am of the people who work there with me and how proud I am of myself for doing it because it's something that I've wanted for such a long time and to finally be doing it is awesome. Um, and I just couldn't be happier or more proud of the people that I'm working with. I have been asked, is Gravity only ever going to be an all women tattoo shop? And it's not. Um, obviously dudes are invited. Um, we are still looking for artists. So if a guy wants to come and apply, that is completely fine. We're not limited to just ladies. So I am ending this week full of love and appreciation and happiness and positivity and looking forward to the week ahead. And I hope you guys are too. I am gonna finish as always with a couple of videos of Ted just because he's awesome. So thanks for watching this week's vlog and I will catch you guys next time. Bye. I was walking him once and he was doing, when he gets excited, it's like having a balloon. He's like literally up in the air and you're like, oh fucking hell. Yeah. And this man just goes to his kids, like about me, like really passive aggressively. She wants to get that dog under control. Oh. And I was like, upside down the wall.
<laughs> Look at his ears. Oh. <laughs> his little face. Thank you.